ready for an adventure. Here are 17 must-see and cheap things to do in Kyoto. Kyoto, the heart of Japan, is a city like no other. It's a place where tradition meets modernity, where the ancient and the new fuse seamlessly. With its stunning temples, vibrant markets and serene gardens, Kyoto offers a unique blend of experiences that are as diverse as they are intriguing. And the best part, you can explore all these without breaking the bank. Without further ado, let's dive into our countdown. Starting our countdown at number 17, we have the Fushimi Inari Shrine. Drenched in history, this shrine is a tribute to Inari, the Shinto god of rice. A striking feature of this place are the thousands of vermilion Tori gates, which create a mesmerizing pathway up the mountain. Offering free entry, it provides a spiritual experience that's gentle on the pocket. Rich in history, culture and beauty, the Fushimi Inari Shrine is a must-see. At number 16, we have the Nijo Castle. This fortress is more than just a stunning sight. It's a living testament to Japan's rich history. Built in the 17th century, Nijo Castle served as the residence for Tokugawa Ieyasu, a shogun who played a pivotal role in Japan's unification. Its palatial gardens, ornate interiors and the distinct nightingale floors are worth every yen of the budget-friendly entry fee. So, immerse yourself in the beauty and history of this remarkable castle, Nijo Castle, a historical wonder not to miss. Coming in at number 15 is the Kiyomizu Dera Temple. This temple, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a testament to Japan's rich cultural history. Its picturesque views and serene atmosphere make it a must-visit spot. Not to mention, it boasts an affordable entry fee, making it a perfect fit for those traveling on a budget. Soak in the ambience of the temple's sacred halls and let the tranquility wash over you. Kiyomizu Dera Temple, a place of tranquility and beauty. Next up, at number 14, we have the Nishiki Market. This bustling marketplace, fondly known as Kyoto's Kitchen, is a paradise for foodies. With over 100 stalls, it offers an array of fresh food and local specialties, ranging from seafood and pickles to sweets and snacks. Whether you're a culinary enthusiast or a casual tourist looking for an authentic taste of Kyoto, Nishiki Market is the place to be. And the best part, it's absolutely free to enter. Nishiki Market, a foodie's paradise. Moving on at number 13, we have the Philosopher's Path. Nestled between the bustling Nishiki Market and the tranquil Arashiyama Bamboo Grove, this picturesque pathway is a must-see. It takes you on a serene walk along a canal, adorned on both sides by hundreds of cherry trees. The path is named after the famous philosopher Nishida Kitaro, who found solace and inspiration on this very route. Like many of Kyoto's gems, the Philosopher's Path is free to enter, offering a peaceful retreat from the city's hustle and bustle. Philosopher's Path, a peaceful retreat amidst the city's chaos. Coming in at number 12 is the Gion District. As we transition from the peace of the Philosopher's Path, we find ourselves in Kyoto's most famous Geisha District. The Gion District is a lively area filled with traditional wooden machia merchant houses and tea houses. Strolling through these narrow, cobbled streets, you'll feel as if you've stepped back in time. The best part, it's completely free to explore, allowing you to immerse yourself in the rich culture and history at your own pace. Gion District, a step back in time. Moving on to number 11, we arrive at the Kyoto Imperial Palace. This grand structure served as the residence of the imperial family until the capital was moved to Tokyo in the late 19th century. The palace is surrounded by beautiful gardens and parks, offering a serene escape from the hustle and bustle of the city. The intricate architecture, ornate details and sprawling gardens make it a must-visit destination on your Kyoto journey. The best part? It's completely free to enter, so you can explore this historical gem without burning a hole in your pocket. Kyoto Imperial Palace, a royal experience. Next, at number 10, we have the Toei Kyoto Studio Park. This is not your average theme park. Here, you can step back in time and experience the Edo period firsthand. This park doubles as a film set where you can watch samurai movies being filmed live. The attention to detail is astounding, from the traditional Japanese architecture to the authentic costumes worn by the actors. The best part? The entry fee is surprisingly affordable, making this a must-visit for history buffs and film enthusiasts alike. Toei Kyoto Studio Park, a fun-filled adventure. Moving on to number 9, we have the Kyoto Tower. Standing as the tallest structure in Kyoto, this tower offers panoramic views of the city that are simply unmatched. 
From its observation deck, you can witness the beautiful contrast of modern and traditional architectures coexisting harmoniously. Despite its modern design, the Kyoto Tower fits perfectly within the cityscape, providing a stunning contrast to the traditional temples and shrines scattered throughout Kyoto. The best part, the entry fee won't break the bank. Kyoto Tower, a modern marvel offering a view from the top. And at number 8 we have the Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. This serene forest of towering bamboo stalks swaying gently in the wind offers a unique, almost enchanting experience. The rustling leaves, the dappled sunlight and the overall tranquility make it a sight to behold. And here's the cherry on top, it's absolutely free to enter. Yes, you heard that right. No entrance fee for this stunning spectacle. Arashiyama Bamboo Grove. A breathtaking sight that tops our list. At number 7 on our list we have the Kyoto Railway Museum. A must-visit for train enthusiasts and history buffs alike, this museum showcases Japan's railway history with real locomotives on display. From the earliest steam engines to the ultra-modern Shinkansen, this exceptional collection encapsulates the essence of Japan's railway heritage. The affordable entry fee makes this a perfect addition to our list of budget-friendly attractions. So, all aboard, adventurers, for a journey through Japan's railway history at the Kyoto Railway Museum, a place where the past meets the present in the most fascinating way. Next stop at number six, we find ourselves in the heart of nature at the Kyoto Botanical Garden. This lush oasis is a serene retreat from the bustling city, offering a tranquil escape for those seeking relaxation. Home to an impressive variety of plant species, the garden takes you on an enchanting journey through different climates and ecosystems. With an affordable entry fee, this is another budget-friendly destination that shouldn't be missed. So take a moment to breathe in the fresh air, listen to the rustling leaves and immerse yourself in the vibrancy of Kyoto Botanical Garden, an urban paradise where nature's beauty reigns supreme. Moving along on our Kyoto adventure at number five, we're diving deep at the Kyoto Aquarium, a fantastic destination for families and marine life enthusiasts alike. This place is a treasure trove of aquatic wonders, home to an array of marine life, from playful penguins to majestic manta rays, the aquarium offers a captivating look into the underwater world. With an affordable entry fee, it's another must-visit spot that won't break the bank. So prepare to be mesmerized by the enchanting world beneath the waves at Kyoto Aquarium. An immersive experience that brings the ocean's depths to life. Stay with us as our journey through Kyoto continues. Coming in at number four, we take a wild turn to the Kyoto City Zoo. Steeped in history, this is the second oldest zoo in Japan and it offers a rich variety of animals from around the globe. From roaring lions to playful monkeys, the zoo is a vibrant hub of wildlife right in the heart of the city. Just like the aquarium, the entry fee is affordable, making it a great destination for families and animal lovers. So buckle up for a wild adventure at the Kyoto City Zoo where you'll get up close and personal with some of the world's most fascinating creatures. Our journey through Kyoto isn't over yet, so stick around. Next, at number three, we have the Kyoto International Manga Museum. This is an absolute must visit for all you manga and anime fans out there. This museum houses an impressively vast collection of manga that spans decades, offering a unique peek into the evolution of this popular art form. You can spend hours browsing through thousands of manga, and the best part, the entry fee won't burn a hole in your pocket. So, whether you're a die-hard fan or just curious about manga, the Kyoto International Manga Museum is your paradise. Stay tuned as our Kyoto adventure continues. Moving on to number two, we have the Togetsukyo Bridge. This iconic landmark offers an enchanting view of the Hozu River, making it a perfect spot to relax and take in the natural beauty of Kyoto. The bridge is particularly popular during cherry blossom season, where the surrounding area transforms into a stunning canvas of pink and white. The best part of this location? It's free to visit. So don't miss out on the chance to capture some amazing photographs at Togetsukyo Bridge, truly a picturesque spot in Kyoto. And finally at number one we have the Kyoto City Bus Tour. This is a fantastic and convenient way to explore the city, especially after a day of walking around. The bus covers most of the major tourist spots we've visited today, making it an ideal mode of transportation for anyone wanting to see as much of Kyoto as possible. Plus, with the affordable ticket price, it's a bargain you won't want to miss. So hop on the Kyoto City bus tour and explore Kyoto at your own pace. 